Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I do think that sometimes I lean into a lot of scriptures and sharing in these devotions related to God's redeeming grace. Um, and I tend to do this especially now because I feel like I need it. And I feel like, um, you know, a lot of you out there need to really be encouraged as to how special God says you are. And um, in the scriptures I'm going to be sharing, he calls us beloved. And um, I just love how he, he does that in Ephesians 1, 6. To the praise of his glorious grace with whom he has blessed us in the beloved. Verse 7, in him we have redemption through his blood, forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. I just love that word beloved. And a little devotion that I ran across by Beth Moore, she used these scriptures and she said, beloved, we need to believe who God says we are. And, you know, I really feel like we do. And I feel like sometimes I fall short. I feel very inadequate and I'm sure you do. And I'm sure I express that a lot. And I think right now during this time, we all really need to be encouraged um, as we've not been able to be as close to one another in fellowship as before because of the pandemic. So um, Paul was the author of Ephesians and he wrote with a purpose to strengthen the believers in Ephesus. My commentary says that in verse six, accepted in the beloved means now we belong to his dearly loved son. And then in verse seven, it speaks, the commentary says it speaks, you know, of his blood that we are redeemed and forgave. And grace is God's voluntary and loving favor. We can't earn it, nor do we really deserve it. Um, but we receive it by acceptance of God's mercy and love. So if he thinks that we're worth it, beloved, we should think that too. Um, and we need to believe that we are who God says we are. And I just hope that that's encouraging you to, to you today and throughout this coming week and that you will, you know, read those scriptures again in Ephesians for yourself. And I just love you all and God bless you all.